Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'll be designing this simple part which is a kind of cover for the carburetor and uh, as you can see these are the design dimensions that uh, I will use while designing so yeah let's see how we can quickly design this in Carrier V5 so I'll start with a new document you can go for a part press ok and then name your part to carburetor cover and then let's start with some basic sketches okay so the very first sketch that I will do is this one you can see the top and uh, for that I will utilize the XY plane go to sketch and uh, I can take a rectangle and draw a rectangle like this then for the dimension if you see this is 125 and from one of the axis it's 62 so from here to here okay so it's in inches uh, for that I will go to tools option in the parameters and measure go to units and change it to millimeter right then give it 62 and for this one the dimension is 125 over here and uh, this length is 50 now as soon as I do that it becomes uh, unsymmetric so for that I will utilize the symmetry command so let's say I'll select these two for constraint right click allow symmetry line and select this as the symmetry axis okay and then we can exit the sketch and utilize a simple pad so we know that the overall uh, height of this is 50 which is stated over here so I will use the pad of 50 let's preview it okay you can zoom to fit and that's the overall uh, length and height of the cover now all we have to do is modify it so for that I will select YZ plane go for sketching and uh, if you see it says that there is a radius 75 at both ends so I can go for a three point arc let's say I can draw an arc like this give it a 75 mm radius and then I can select the arc and this face go for a tangency also to make it uh, symmetric I will select both the endpoints and allow symmetry line with this axis okay once it is uh, constrained I can complete the profile by doing joining all the endpoints like that and then we can exit and leave it as it is all right after that we will do another sketch and this time we will draw this arc which is of uh, 108 radii and to do that I will utilize the ZX plane and go to sketch go for three point arc again draw an arc and give it a radius of 108 and if it is goes down you can take it and then select the arc select this edge go for a tangency you can extend these like this and then you can also go for this point and this axis and go for a coincidence all right you can also do a symmetry between 
these two points by giving it a symmetry line of this so that way it is symmetric and then exit the sketch now we have this curve and the other curve so I will utilize the slot command to create the curve so let's go for slot command for profile I will select sketch 2 and for the center curve I will select sketch 3 and if you preview it it's like this and there you go you have the curves on your carburetor now after that you'll see uh, there is a draft of 5 degree inward draft so to do that we can simply go for draft select this face and this face and since it is inward I can type in minus 5 degree and for the neutral selection I can select this you can preview it and press ok so there you go you have the draft after that we can do another sketch so this sketch is basically for the ellipse so we have uh, two ellipse one is this one and the other one is a little bit big so we'll draw these two ellipse and then uh, create a multi-section uh, remove multi-section between those two ellipse so to create this feature if I show you this feature right so to do that I will select the back face or maybe you can select the XY plane go for a sketch uh, if your uh, part looks like this you can go for normal view and there you go after that I can take a ellipse start somewhere around here and draw ellipse go for semi major semi minor axis now to give the values it says rx15 ry10 so we'll change it to radius and this could be let's say 10 and this one radius 15 okay now we have to select the center and this axis go for a coincidence all right and the other dimension that we can do is center and this age so that is already given so in case if it is not defined I um, mean not constrained you can go for auto constraint select the elements to be constrained and give it a reference element so select this axis okay and it will be defined fully so from here you can exit the sketch and since we have the one of the sketches we need another sketch on uh, at a drawn at an offset of 50 from the base so let's define a plane from the base at a distance of 50 and then select the plane go for a sketch you can zoom to fit go for a normal view and then we'll do another ellipse like this give it semi major and semi minor axis and then for the values it should be 25 and 17.5 change it to radius and this should be 17.5 and this should be radius 25 You can select these two, go for coincidence, and also we can select the ellipse and give it a distance from this axis. So now it's fully defined. You can exit the sketch, and then I will utilize the remove multi section to remove the part between these two sketches. I'll select sketch 4 and sketch 5 and preview it. 
there you go you have the part removed okay after that we can utilize the fillet so it says uh, 12 elements with radius 4 so I can go for fillet I can select let's say this all the edges so maybe this edge this 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 so there you have the 12 elements and 4mm radii change it to shading with edges and that's how the model looks after fillet after that we can go for a 3mm uniform thickness so to do it I will utilize the shell command select the face go for 3mm ok all right now the next part is to sketch on this thing basically uh, the inside which I'll show you so there is another uh, sketch which go, which goes like that so to do that we can select the back face go for sketching and then all you have to do is select your edges or the inside one you can select the outer edges and then alright so after selecting all the edges I can go for projection and uh, just after that I will utilize the offset command and uh, let's say we can go for an offset so to view the offset value I'll just maximize this and then we can maybe go for an offset of 1.5 all right and then we can delete the projection that we have created or we can turn it into uh, a, a construction line either of that will work so I'll select it and then convert it to construction line okay from there what we can do is we can exit the sketch go for a pocket and the depth I will say 1.5 mm and you'll get the part just like that okay to uh, last thing that we have to do in this one is this part over here with the radius 4 and to do that I will sketch another profile on this face I'll select the face go for a sketch and then maybe I can zoom in to this area and then start with the rectangle like that and then let's say we'll select these two edges and go for a coincidence so that I can take a circle can draw a circle like that give it a radius of 4 and uh, you can select these two and go for a tangency all right now what else do we have in this one so this should be a the center should be at a distance of 8 and to do that I'll go for constraint select the center and from this edge it should be 8 mm all right what else can we do to make it fully constrained so I can say this edge and this edge constraint allow symmetry line and select this one okay what else can we do we can select this point and select that go for coincidence okay that makes our sketch fully defined I can exit now and for the pad I can see it's going up to the next body so I will utilize the pad command 
and go for up to next press ok to confirm and there you go the last part that we have to do is the whole part which is 3 dia and 12 depth so for that I will utilize the whole definition and select this face first of all I will position this sketch so I can select these two or else we can select this one and this one and let's say we go for a concentricity okay and then delete the previous one all right so that's the spot where we have to make the hole and then exit the sketch so from here we can go for three dia and depth is 12 let's preview it the other information we don't need because it's not specified so i'll press ok and that completes the design all right now if we compare these two i think it looks same okay if i switch my view to shading without a smooth edges that makes the both the model same all right so that's it for the design of the carburetor cover i hope you guys uh, like it and understood basically how we proceeded with the basic sketch to design this complete model if you have any doubts with this feel free to comment down below and subscribe if you're watching this see you in the next tutorial peace out